The main reason I want to do this now is to show you the different operation types when creating your child string. So in this case, I'm going to go string, string creation, create child. And then I'm going to create on the inside of the pond firstly, uh, offset string. And I'm going to use the okay, grade with horizontal offset. I'm using a grade of 1 in 3, but I want it to fall down, so that's a negative grade. And you can see there, if I hold my cursor, negative is to fall, positive would be a climbing grade. And then my horizontal offset, 5 meters. You can see then it pops in that child string at the 5 meter offset. So I'm going to create another child string using a different operation type. So in this case, I'm using a horizontal offset to a specific elevation. So I want the bottom of my pond to be at 1340, and I'm putting that 8 meters away. So next up, I want to design the strings on the outside of the pond wall. So I just need to select the platform string, the initial string, and then string creation create child which side so this time we're working on the outside so that's important and i'm going to be using a horizontal and a vertical offset so it's a horizontal vertical distance so my vertical i want to go down so it's a negative 0 0.25 and then horizontally i want to go five meters okay and then from there, I'm just going to be tying into ground. So once again, I can just go to create child. And I want to grade to a surface. And the surface I'm using is that intermediate surface. I can maybe just check those slopes. Let's flatten it out a little bit. One in three for cut and fall. Okay, so it's just interpolating all around my pond now, creating that bank up and down to ground. Okay, maybe just switch on those bank lines so we can see what that looks like. Maybe just zoom into the pond extents and then just 